Philadelphia Royal Rumble 2015 Roman Reigns won the Royal Rumble match but the crowd booed the heck out of it despite the rocks involvement Fast forward 9 years later WrestleMania 40 in Philadelphia was a redemption for Roman Reigns and The Rock The WrestleMania 40 behind the curtain documentary had to be delayed due to excess footage. 3 months post WrestleMania on July 4th, WWE finally released the entire documentary and here's my key takeaways from it. WrestleMania penciled in on a piece of paper was probably 80% done in October. The WrestleMania 40 card was 80% done in October itself which speaks volumes why it's because of Triple H's long term vision we have discussed this in my previous video you can go check it out The day of the Royal Rumble Cody Rhodes was told that Roman Reigns versus Rock was being discussed and you got to imagine what a brutal day it must have been for Cody Rhodes for a couple of reasons First he was slated to win the Royal Rumble match and despite winning the Royal Rumble if Roman Reigns and the Rock went on to face each other at WrestleMania then what's the point of winning the Rumble but interestingly Triple H said that if Cody Rhodes failed to win the Royal Rumble then it would damage him If Cody fails here it damages him But Cody Rhodes went into business for himself by pointing at Roman Reigns signaling he is coming after him despite the fact that it was going to be the rock versus Roman Reigns at that point at the time when Cody Rhodes said this but on Saturday you will never know how much i needed you I personally did not understand what he meant he was pretty emotional when he said that He won the Royal Rumble so he has got to be over the moon but now we understand why he needed us but then the road to WrestleMania 40 was so chaotic but this chaos creates magic Triple H didn't know what to do with the main event and he just went by the flow by looking at the audience reactions and after a chaotic couple of months the story finally pivoting just at the right time Triple H finalized on Roman Reigns versus Cody Rhodes to be the main event of WrestleMania for the undisputed WWE title. But whose idea was it to pivot? And I knew that the choice essentially was mine. I believe we should go Roman Cody. Will Cody finish his story? And this shows why The Rock was such a great team man. The Rock could have been selfish and taken that spot but instead he listened to the fans reaction and he knows how important the fan reaction is to what WWE does at the end of the day it was his choice that mattered if the rock decided that no i want to be the main event of wrestlemania and i want to face my cousin for the title then sure that would have been the main event no one would have questioned him given his position with the company but he chose not to do that he chose to pivot and what we witnessed was greatness Seth Rollins as a CM Punk was the plan for WrestleMania had Punk not been injured. Punk tore his triceps, but as I always say, CM Punk's injury was a blessing in disguise for WWE. Why? Check this video out to know why. Becoming this new version has been the most gratifying decision that I've ever made. The Rock's transformation to the final boss was the most gratifying decision that he has ever made. This new version was just wow. No one expected the Rock to go so deep into the waters, but he did. See, he has been a baby face for a long long time. Whenever he makes an appearance, whenever he makes a return, he has always been a baby face. Plus he is a Hollywood actor now. So he has to have that good guy impression amongst the audience. But For the sake of WrestleMania 40 he turned heel. The promos from the Rock were just incredible and he insulted the crowd while showing off his big ego. It was so refreshing to see the Rock turn heel. 
he cared about defense and that's what matters the most even triple h said that's fucking being a heel the impact the rock had on wrestlemania 40 is just so great but one thing i would have loved to see is how the rock trained to get in shape for wrestlemania guys remember the rock was wrestling his first match in 12 years and do not count the match against Eric Rowan as a match. That was merely 6 seconds. From his perspective, it would have been so cool to see how hard he trained to get into in-ring shape. Being fit and working out in the gyms is one thing, but getting in shape for a wrestling match is a whole different beast. The reason I wanted to see how The Rock trained to get in shape for WrestleMania 40 was simply because of how great he looked in the ring. Wrestling wise, he was top notch. It didn't seem that he was wrestling in 11 years. It just came natural to him and that was even more surprising to me. Now one story is complete but the other one begins. Cody Rhodes became the undisputed champion at WrestleMania 40 and now it's up to Triple H and company to navigate. It's their job now and we all know what's next for this story. If you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm Hari from Wrestling Scenarios signing off. This has been my key takeaways from the WrestleMania Behind the Curtain documentary.